Has anybody heard the old saying, uh, everything's bigger in Texas? Well, let me tell you something. There's a lot of steer in Texas. There's a lot of cows in Texas. There's a lot of uh, bulls and cattle and steers and longhorns. And, you know, Texas is famous for longhorn steers. But let me tell you something. When they say everything's bigger in Texas, they are not bullshitting. This has got to be the largest metal steer I've ever seen in my life. This thing's about 20 feet tall and it's made out of steel metal plate. I can't fucking believe it. I can't even get it all on the camera. There we go. Look how tall that bitch is. That's one tall son of a bitch. It's way up there in the sky. And it's all made out of steel. Steel metal plate. Somebody, let's get a good look at this thing. Let's see what we got here. God, look at all that. Metal steel plate welded together to make a giant, giant Texas Longhorn. But they also say that uh, Texas, everything's bigger in Texas, so that's probably the biggest sack of bull balls that you will ever see and you know what my friend Pete just happened to bring it to you right here the largest sack of balls that you will probably ever see right here from my friend Pete in the great state of Texas wow They definitely fucking highlighted those and made sure those things were the right proportion for this big bastard. Son of a bitch. So the next time you're in the great state of Texas, always remember, things are bigger. Texas. Wow. And if we look in the distance, you can see that Minnie is not into uh, sightseeing. She really doesn't give a rat shit about the giant bull and the big bull's balls. And the big longhorn steers. So, yeah. Minnie's a real tourist attraction person. She really likes to... She's the person that would rather be on the major highway with 10 billion other people. Well, I should have brought you over to see them giant bull's balls. Show you what a real cow looks like. You should have seen the balls on that, that thing, man. They're about three feet long. I bet they are. I was telling everybody out there that uh, when we were looking at the giant bull's balls, that uh, everything's bigger in Texas. Is that true? Since you're a born and raised Texan? I wasn't born here. Okay, well, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, you were born in Mexico and raised here from the age That's of two years say. old. That's what they say. That's what they say. Everything's bigger and better. Well, than I just proved it to everybody. That's the largest metal art sculpture bull I've ever seen in my life. And the balls happen to be proportional. It's about two and a half foot of balls hanging there. Have you ever seen a Have you ever seen a bull? Have you ever seen a bull with two and a half foot of balls hanging down past his asshole? I try not to look at that part. Well, if you want to go see it, uh, uh, I, he's right I, over there. Don't really. I'll be. I'll tell you the truth. That really gives me an idea. You really seem to be fascinated. With that gives me an balls. idea. You know what I'm gonna do? Why are you so fascinated with bulls balls? I'm not. I just thought it was fi pretty funny. I thought it was a funny situation. See, Axel, he's only got one ball. He's a one ball boy. All right, let's get down the road. Maybe we might see something else big in Texas.
told you you see some crazy stuff on the highways, but well, we're not talking just uh, yard art, you might say. We're talking statements as well. And uh, here's some right here. Well, I just looked at some billboards, and sometimes you see those all over the place. Usually you see them more in the Bible Belt than out here in west, uh, western United States. What do you think of stuff like that? What do you think about people making giant billboards to make a statement? And what do you think about the people that actually go by and see it? Do you think people are actually reading that stuff? Uh, I think the people that believe it like it, love it, but the people that don't believe it just ignore it. So you think there's people out there laughing at them, huh? Making a joke about them because they believe in Jesus Christ and they don't like abortion and uh, all the statements that are made about what we just saw, basically. Yeah. So do you think there's more people laughing at the signs? Or do you think there's more people that are taking them seriously? I don't think anybody's laughing at the signs. I, I do. Think, I said I think a lot of people are just. Ignoring. I think there's a lot of people that are laughing at them. I think there's a lot of people that look at them and say that's a fucking joke. Well, that's what I okay, think. Okay, I think okay. The sign said liberal uh, uh, Democrats and liberal left. Okay, well, I think a, a, a Democrat or a liberal left person that reads that sign. They're gonna okay, think. so They're, basically, would okay. you let me I, I was, yeah, okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Never mind. Go ahead, what were you gonna say? If you see a le liberal or a leftist or a Democrat, what are they gonna do? If one of them reads that sign, the sign is about them, Pete. I don't know if you read They're gonna it get offended. They're gonna get offended. No, they're gonna think, well, I don't think abortion is murder. Abortion's not murder. That's what they're gonna say. Because yeah. they don't believe abortion is murder. Or they, if they believed abortion was murder, do you think they would be for it? No. So basically, in what you're mind, saying? They have it construed okay. in their mind that it's not. So basically, that there's nothing wrong with abortion. That so basically, abortion what you're good. saying is that guy that made those billboards back there, that guy that made those billboards, doesn't give one rat shit about Jesus Christ our Savior and abortion. He's more about the political uh, standing of it and the political background by the way you just said it. Because no. now you're bringing in politics in it and you're making it sound like it's a political uh, statement. I believe those signs were put up by Christians, Pete. Did you not read those signs properly? Yeah, of course I read them. But you said Democrats and liberals, leftists. Gosh, did you not read that sign? It said 500 million babies killed by the Democrats and All right, elected. and that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm trying to say. Do you think that it's a political, uh, a political jargon fucking, you know, know hit to the politics on. of right. America? Or do you think it's a, a Christianity thing about Jesus Christ? I think it's Christians stating that they're against abortion, Pete. So you're telling me that all Christians in the world are all Republicans? No. You're not making no sense here, or you're not getting what the fuck I'm saying here. 
I've read the signs. I don't think you read the same sign as I read. Yes, I did read the signs. Okay. Because I, I, I understood it much differently than you did, okay. apparently. What do you Obviously, think Obviously, I am a dumbass, okay? What do you think the I think the signs said? were about uh, Christianity and that we're murdering babies. I don't think it had anything to do with politics. But you brought the politics into the fucking picture and said, oh, I think if a Democrat and a liberal reads it, uh, they're going to be happy and say, yeah, hey, I like abortion. That's not what I said, but... That's basically what you said in no. a lot about route. You took the kind of a lot, you took the loop around town on that okay. one. Okay, uh, Pete, you know, you're trying to make an argument. Remember when you wanted to get on that highway back there? You're trying to make an no, argument. No, I'm not trying to make an argument. We're on the same side. We're both against I'm not, I'm not making an argument. I'm but not yeah, doing you that. Are. All right, what I'm you trying try to say. You're trying to make an argument out of everything. No, I'm trying to say. Those remember were obviously that. billboards put up by Christians. All right, can I say something now? And Democrats, she ain't gonna apparently, let me talk. they feel the person that put those signs up that the Democrat and the far left. Okay, who there you are go. For I don't even know what far left is, or right left, or uh, uh, you know, exactly. right wing so left wing. I'm not into all that because you're the one that brought politics up. I was bringing up religion. Did the you? sign said Democrats and left. That is politics. No, that was the end of the sign. What about the oh first of the God. sign? And underneath the sign. Did you read underneath okay. the sign? Did you read underneath uh, it? Apparently, we read two different signs, folks. So we'll okay. get back to you. Remember, Once I let people yeah. read the signs. All right, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Explain them to Remember now. when we were in that little town back there and you said, Oh, am I supposed to get on 289? And I said, No, that's a loop. That's a big, giant, long loop that goes around and, the town. And what about when I to told you which way, way we stay should on this go, highway. and now we've ended up and you said, I said, Stay on hours this highway. Stay on this highway. Because we had to go your way instead of the right way, my way. And now we're going to be there till fucking 7. Well, we took the back roads, though. We saw, uh, yeah, we okay. saw, just we like, saw just one like map. you can't fucking read a map. But you know what? You if we wouldn't have took the back board. roads, it was well worth it already oh, because if we wouldn't have took the back roads, we wouldn't have saw one man's junk is another man's treasure, okay? You didn't see it because you were sleeping. We wouldn't have saw the world's largest, uh, sheet, uh, uh, you know, uh, metal plate fucking bull that had three foot bulls balls hanging from it. I know, you uh, really liked the bulls balls, didn't you? Finally, but the end, we wouldn't have seen, we He's wouldn't even have seen. Ate bulls balls. He's even eaten them. Well, they're called Rocky Mountain Oysters. He likes them. Uh, they have he a, likes to eat no, them. I don't eat them. I tried them. He likes to eat them. There's a lot of people out there who like them. If anybody's out there ever had Rocky Mountain oysters, can you please tell Minnie that they uh, are a delicatessen? Please. A delicatessen is a cafeteria. Okay. So, anyway, uh, what I was saying, if we wouldn't have took the long way around, we wouldn't have been able to see all the wonderful sights and argue about the fucking sign that we just saw. Yeah, okay. We'll let these guys make their own mind up what the uh, fuck they think about it. All right. Because that's the situation we have. My opinion counts, your opinion counts. Okay. okay. When you're, We're all and, here and, and, to and, talk about If any opinions. of y'all people out there have seen any of Pete's videos, you know that if, if it's not Pete's way, then it's wrong. So, okay, make your mind up from there. So, we're a little ways from uh, the ski resort still. Now, I'm calling it a ski resort, but uh, it's In the actually summer, it's a, it's a bike park. Resort. And uh, so, we're still a little ways away from it, but we're almost there. And when we get there, we will be there. But until then, Fort Summer, straight ahead. That's what we're going to Hold on, is that at. a totem pole? Oh. No. I was going to say. Until then, my friend Pete's Eagle Eye is out for roadside enjoyment. For you, the viewer, to enjoy and to like. Piss off, man. Hey, there's that hotel me and Junior stayed in. Right there. That was a cool hotel. All right, we'll see you later. Take it easy, and uh, down the road we go. With our sick little dog, Axel. Have you ever had... Have you ever heard of dogs maybe having depression, like, you know, they have to go to psychiatrist and... They have dog dentists and dog psychiatrists. Uh, I'm thinking this little fuck ass somebody. here, he's oh, depressed or something. To know maybe we ought to go to a psychi dog psychiatrist. I think you need to go to a psychiatrist. Yeah. You need some fucking ADD pills or something. You are fucking crazy. Some Tourette's. ADD? Tourette's. What the hell is ATD? Tourette's. Tourette's? Oh, hearing aids for okay, damn Tourette's. Hold on, you don't know what Tourette's is, do you? Yeah, I do. That's where you go.
Fuck motherfucker shit, fuck ass. Fuck motherfucker shit, fuck ass. You did that okay. all the time. And then all of a sudden, you're talking. Look at that, look at that. Then all of a sudden, you'll be talking. I'm going to go, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. All right. You do that all the time. People can hear you in the shop all the time. Hell, you do it at home all the time. Fuck motherfucker shit, fuck ass. I guarantee you have Tourette's. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. No, you're thinking of razor brain. Fuck motherfucker shit, fuck ass. Guarantee it. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> see you down the road. See? What? What did I just do? I said see you down the road. What the fuck, just man? Just out of the blue. Let's get out of this bum town here. Where are we at? Clovis? Clovis, New Mexico. Wow. I don't know if we're in Clovis yet. Yes, we are. Clovis? Yes, this is Clovis. The okay. beautiful, this is the beautiful town of Clovis. Here, here's a roadside uh, tourist attraction right here, see? Downtown fucking Clovis, right here. This is it. Wow. So if anybody out there is in Clovis, New Mexico and happen to be watching my friend Pete right now, we are just passing the bridge that walks over to this grain town. silo. Uh, I don't know what that, there's a bridge, there you go, right there. Okay, there's the grain silo and, and uh, we are now leaving your town. Heading to the next town, somewhere in America. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! <laughs>